Hello everyone, welcome back to Downtown Tailoring. I'm so glad to see you guys. In today's video, we are going to fix the crotch on jeans in three different ways. So let's go. This is our first pair of jeans. It has the classic holes that goes in the crotch and we are going to use an old material, like this is an old pair of jeans and we are going to use it for the spare pieces. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to turn the pant inside out and stretch it over a table and then I will take the material but I will take in count the grain of the material and I will make it match with the grain of the pants. That's very important because that way you know that the jeans will behave more or less in the same way. That's why I do always, I take in count that. So I will mark the pattern of the pants and then I will put another side and making sure that they are both to the same grain and um, the first cut I will do with the regular scissor and the rest I will do with my pink and cheer scissors. That way I don't have to finish the edges because sometimes finishing the edges make everything a little bit bulkier. The first step, as you might know, is to choose a nice matching thread. In this case, I have two thread, one is darker and one is lighter and I will use both. I will use the darker at the bottom and the lighter at the bobbin and that combination will be nicer. The first thing I'm gonna do, I will sew what will be the crotch in the pants and if you want, you can snip the seam allowance so it can fold better and then I'll go to my ironing table. If you want, you can sew these two pieces a little bit just to make it better, but I'm too lazy for that. I will just pin it to the table and uh, hopefully everything will be okay. I will use my hand fusing tape to glue the patch to the pants with the iron. I will go all around in the edges and when I go to the top, I will remove my pins and then I will iron everything. For software patches, you can use neat t-shirt material. In fact, I prefer those in my own jeans, but my customer usually prefer the jeans as the jeans is stronger. When I have everything ironed, I'm going to my sewing machine. And as we have done before, I will just go straight down following those lines as you can see. And my patch is very nice. I have done that before, but I didn't want to let it out of this because then it doesn't make sense as this is the method I use the most with my customers. This is the result. You can see all the stitches and uh, you can see it outside. You don't see so much the stitches. Let's go to the second one, which is visible mending. I have the crotch a little bit more extended to the thigh, and I will use this time stretching it because the material of the jeans is stretchy too. So I want to kind of it's soft and nice and comfortable to use. So I will repeat the same way I did. The only difference is that I will go a little bit at the front to just a tiny bit. If you have too much at the front, it's better to use quadruple patch. But in this case, because I'm just going to the other side around one inch, it will be okay. So I'm cutting my material. I already saw it in the crotch and I'm preparing myself for gluing it. As you can see, until now there is not any difference between the first way and the second way. The difference will come in how I will finish it. I'm gluing my patch all the way at the two sides and as you can see this patch is a little bit bigger than the other. My patch is all glue and now I will proceed to finish it. As you can see both material is stretching the same way. I will use for this my sashiko thread. I will use it in dark blue as uh, it will look decorative but not too much. And the first thing I'm gonna do just for a reference, I'm marking more or less 
the limit of the embroidered surface. I'm knotting my thread and I will start sewing. I will insert my needle and then I will put the thread and then look how I do. I will just go and take a little bit, take a little bit and then go to the next stitch. So I'm running just long and straight stitches and then I will keep going all the way and I will try to go straight following the grain of the material that makes the embroider looks much better when i finish my first line i will go back to make the second line but instead of starting in the same height i will go at the center like subway tiles then i will do exactly the same as i did before i am making it around 1 8 or 3 16 separation between the two lines and as you can see, I start and finish in the center. And then when I finish my second row, I will do exactly the same. And I will start and then I will go to the edge. And then the second one will be parallel to the first one. So I will take the first one as a reference. And then I will go and do the same as I did the first time. That will make it look nicer. And as you can see, I am going to the grain of the material, which make it go some sort of triangular for the pants. You can see the stitches inside. You can see it. And then when I finish my thread, I will just knot it and then I will start again. Then I will take more thread, I will thread my needle and knot it and then I will keep going wherever I was working. I keep doing that until I finish and then I will go to the other side. Then I will keep following the straight line at the other side of the pants. So those lines will kind of encounter, see, as a triangle. And I'm not trying to make anything perfect. I'm eyeballing most of it. If it's not perfect, it looks better. But if it's too, too crooked, it's better just to open go back you know and then do it again it's in fact not that much that you will need to open anyways because you know you will be constantly checking your work so you can find the mistake very soon if you make it when i finish the first side then i will go to the second side and i will start and doing exactly the same i will measure more or less the length of this side to do more or less the same length you know as i said it doesn't have to be perfect but if you try you know symmetry always make things look better and more balanced and here you go this is uh, the result you can use as well cross stitch but in this case i didn't want it to do it because i wanted the pants to be stretchy and i was afraid that the cross stitch will limit the stretchiness and it looks fantastic and even if it's so big the surface you can see in the model that it's not really that visible when she's wearing the pants so this is the third way i'm very excited of this way because customers pay top money for this kind of job this pant has been all patched up and you need for this job water soluble glue and water soluble interfacing so the material is different but we are going to do the same we are going to mark the pattern of the pants in my interfacing and then we are going to proceed and glue it. But this time we are going to glue it with water soluble glue. Then I glue one side and then I will prepare my machine for darning. Uh, for that I put the plate or you can lower your dog feet if your machine is a little bit more advanced than mine. And you are going to use your darning foot and then you will go and start to sew and in this case because you don't have the dog feet you have to feed yourself the machine so you have to move your pants to go up and down up and down i feel like that thread was a little bit too dark so i decided to change it for a nicer color and i did like this one better i kept sewing up and down up and down and this is basically it it's just that it takes a little bit more time to do it 
but customers pay top dollars for this kind of alteration. And as you can see, this is the result. I just did one side first. And let me show you in the inside. I do it one side first. This is the outside part. So as you can see, you see the thread and let me show it in the inside. And um, if you don't want to see the threads like that in this color, you just use a more matching color inside, but I prefer to use it that much on the top. And then what I have to do is just to rinse out the water soluble interfacing. So that will disappear completely. And then because I did so many stitches on top of the flat fell, I'm going to use the same color thread of the jeans and then I will top stitch again so it looks more natural. And guys, this is the result of this one and it's softer, somehow it's nicer, customer really like it, you don't have anything else than thread. And as I said before, there are many places that does that and um, people are very happy with this kind of patches in my store i personally use the first way the most as is the most practical and fast but i wanted you to let me know which one did you like the best in the comments down below and if you find this video useful please don't forget to subscribe share comment bye